Let's solve the following system of equations. We have 4x plus 2y equals 8. We have negative 3x plus y equals negative 1. We've done a few of these before. To solve it, we can simply try to eliminate one of the variables. I'm looking at equation 1 and equation 2, and I'm going to double equation 2. So we get equation number 1 is 4x plus 2y equals 8. And if I double both sides, I get negative 6x plus 2y equals negative 2. I multiply both left side and right side by 2. Now because I equalize the y's, I can subtract top minus the bottom. 4x minus negative 6x is the same thing as 4x plus 6x becomes 10x. 2y minus 2y disappears. 8 minus negative 2 becomes 8 plus 2, which becomes 10. So I divide both sides by 10, I get x equals 1. So once we know that x equals 1, we simply plug in this x equals 1, the fact, into any one of these, either, either one of these equations. I'll just use equation number 1. So we recall that 4x plus 2y equals 8. We know that x is 1. So 4 times 1 plus 2y equals 8. We have 2y is equals to 8 minus 4, which is 4. So divide both sides by 2 y is equals to 2. So the point we have is x is 1 and y is 2. So this point is the solution. It's where these two lines intersect. And if you have time at the end of your exam to actually test this point out, we can do so. So let's test out, see if equation number 1 holds. We have 4x, which is the value of 1 here. This is my x value, this is my y value plus 2y, which is 2, it should equal, does it equal 8? And we have 4 plus 4, yes, left side equals right side. This one works out, we're verifying our answer. I'm testing equation number 2. So 3x, x is 1, plus y, my y is 2, does it equal negative 1? We have negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1, yes, left side equals right side we verified this point as our answer. So the answer here is C.